facility in Park County will help train the next generation of automotive trades workers. In August, North Central Park Schools opened a new automotive technology facility. The facility will be used for the Wabash River Career and Technical Education Program. News 10's Jackson Plank spoke to students and an instructor for the program. He joins us now live in the studio to share how the new building will raise the standard for students. The Automotive Technology Program has been a popular program for Park Heritage High School. It even has a wait list for students wanting to join. But now students have even more reason to join the program. Next to Park Heritage High School sits North Central Park's new Automotive Technology Building. Inside, the sounds of tools whirling fill the garage area students work and instructors supervise. On this day, students like Justin Cooper are learning the basics of automotive repair work. I joined this program because I've been interested in engines since I was really young. I've always loved to just work on my quad with my dad. Cooper says he has dreams of becoming an electrician. Although the junior will not learn about the specifics of being an electrician, he says he will, however, learn how wires and electricity work. Program instructor Edward Cooch. Just whatever you do on this side, make sure you match it on that side. Says the program attracts students with an array of professional interests. On top of that, he says the new building has played a factor in attracting students. I think having the new building plays a major role in their interest level because the old building, um, you know, kids would walk in and they see the, the walls that haven't been repainted in 40 years and they see, you know, cracks in the concrete. Cooch says the program is able to provide learners with a top tier education through upgraded environment that includes more space and new tools like an alignment rack. It's really brought us up on par with, you know, uh, like a, a dealership that you'd walk into now. Like I said, there's not a whole lot that, that um, they could do that we couldn't at this point with some of the equipment we have this year. So far this year, students have already learned to do things like brake and oil changes. Later in the year, instructors for the program say they'll work on cars that belong to members of the community. My favorite thing, probably taking spark plugs out because it's kind of hands-on, getting to learn what socket's the right size. Cooper hasn't decided on plans for senior year yet, but says he's enjoying the new building and being in the program. If you'd like to learn more about the program, visit our website, WTHITV.com. Back to you.